Dear all, welcome back to my math channel. In this video, I will answer you question number 7 from Pearson and Excel A level exam for pure math 4. This exam is taken in May June session year 2034. Paper reference code is WMA 14 slash 01. The current X appears at time t seconds after switch is closed in a particular electric circuit is modeled by the equation dx by dt equals k minus 3x. Where k is the constant, initially there is zero current in the circuit. Solve the differential equation to find an equation in terms of f, in terms of k. For the current in the circuit at time t seconds, give your answer in the form x equals to f of t. It means you need to find the value of x in terms of t. Consider this equation here to solve this part. First part, dx by dt is equals to k minus 3x. By integration method, we will solve this equation, but for that you have to separate the variables. It is called separating variables, collect x variables on one side and t is on other side. This is called separating variables. We will separate variables. Here, this will go down there, so it will be 1 over k minus 3x, k minus 3x, and uh, this dt will go to the right side, so it will be dt already. Now you implies that you can integrate both sides. Here this is dx, sorry I forget to write here dx. So it will be 1 over k minus 3x dx. Take integral of both sides and here is 1 dt. You know the formula for 1 with respect to t is t, t plus c, but the problem is here. Let me tell you a very famous formula. Uh, you should know that. Like if there is a, in the numerator, there is a derivative of the denominator, okay. We take the log of the denominator. This is the formula for integrating such kind of questions. This is a function. What is the derivative of this function? That is minus 3 because k is constant, so it will be 0. Minus 3x is derivative is minus 3. So make here minus 3. To multiply here minus 3, you have to divide by the same number outside like this to balance it. Now this is the derivative. Function and derivative is in the numerator. So you can write uh, the log of the denominator. On the left hand side, we can write as minus 1 over 3 log k minus 3x equals integration of 1 is t plus c. Now substitute the initial values to get the value of c. You know initial value was 0, like uh, current was 0, time was 0. When t equals to 0, the current was 0. Current is represented by x, that is 0. Substitute these values there. Substitute these values in the above equation to get the value of c. Minus 1 over 3, log of, so this will be log k only, and this is 0 plus c and value of c is minus 1 over 3 log k. Therefore, we can write as minus 1 over 3 log k minus 3x equals t plus, not plus it is minus, so t minus 1 over 3 log k. In the next step, we need to find the value of x actually. So here our fractions are given, I, or many times I told you if there, if there is fraction is given, so to get rid of that fraction, multiply by the highest denominator, multiply by 3 or negative 3, that is your choice. Better if you multiply by negative 3 to get rid of negative as well. So this will be log k minus 3, k minus 3x and this will be negative 3t and uh, this negative 1 over 3 is cancelled with that negative 3, so it is plus log k. Now you can move the log value to the left side. It will be log k minus 3x minus log k is equals to minus 3t. Because two logarithms are natural logarithms are divided and uh, subtracting, there is a rule. Let me tell you again. Because log x minus log y. If they are subtracting, we divide them. We divide the numbers. This is the law of log theorem. You have to memorize that. So by using that law, we can write, we can combine them together like this: k minus three, three x over k equals minus three t. 
to get rid of log we take exponent implies that k minus 3x over k is equals to e to the power minus 3t this k will multiply there so it will be k minus 3x is equals to k times e to the power minus 3t now you can move this value to the right side and bring this value to left side so it will be k minus k e to the power minus 3t equals to minus uh, it becomes positive so it is positive 3x from here you can take out common k and value of x will be equals to k into 1 minus e to the power minus 3t divided by 3 so this is the answer here on the right side the function is given in terms of t and uh, on the left side x should be alone it is exactly according to the requirement of the question part 1 is done next part given that in long term the current in circuit approaches to 7 amperes find the value of k for long terms here you should apply the limit for time time should approaches to infinity for long terms because the time is not given for maximum time we could use as t approaches to infinity current is given as current is represented by x so this value is x find the value of k for second part we will use the previous equation for second part for long term for long term we can write as for long term t approaches to infinity implies that if you plug in because here exponential function is given there you know uh, here e to the power negative 3 t will approaches to 0 let me show you the graph for exponential uh, function uh, you should remember all these graphs okay like uh, for y equals to e to the power x from graph looks like that e to the power x graph looks like that it passes through 1 you understand here as the value of x decreases it approaches to as the value of x uh, approaches to negative infinity then it approaches to 0 e to the power x but in case if it is uh, like that the graph for exponential function for negative it looks like that it is a reflection right so y equals to e to the power minus x here x is approaching to infinity you know y is approaching to zero here as t approaches to infinity negative exponential function approaches to zero and value of x is given as seven substitute these were two values there we get the result seven equals to k into one minus zero over three and value of k will be equals to 21 so we get the result for k so second part is done See, we will use this value of k there, hence whenever you are using this word hence, it means you will use the previous result. Find the time, you need to find time, in seconds it takes for the current to reach 5 amperes, giving your answer to 2 single figures. Now, uh, current is given here x and k is 21. Plug in these two values in the above equation, we get the result. For last part, current is appro approaching to 5 and value of k is 21. We will use these two values in this equation to get the answer for t. Write this equation again here, so then plug in the values, here it is k into 1 minus e to the power minus 3t divided by 3. Plug in the values, x is uh, 5 and here 21 into 1 minus e to the power minus 3t and divide by 3. So this 3 will cancel this 21, it left with 7 only. Because 7 is multiplying here, so you can bring this one to the left side, it will be 5 over 7 is equals to 1 minus e to the power minus 3t. In the next step, you can move this value to the left side and bring this value to the right side. So e to the power 3t becomes positive, uh, sorry it is minus, it was minus here, so it becomes positive and then 1 minus 5 over 7. Then e to the power minus 3t is equals to, solving this one will give you the result 2 over 7. To get rid of this exponent, we will take log it is the rule to get rid of log we take exponent and to get rid of exponent we take log nature log with them minus 3t will be equals to log of 2 over 7 then this negative 3 uh, will divide to the other side and we get the answer for t as minus 1 over 3 log of 2 over 7 by using calculator and write your answer to two significant figures our answer will be 
right as is in your calculator you want your answer is 0.417587 like this but you should round your answer to two cylinder figures this is the demand of the question to two cylinder figures so last part of this question is done question number seven is done if you have any question please write in the comment box thank you